Hello and welcome to the Y2PMV podcast where I, Soraz, and one of the guests talk about everything surrounding Y2PMV. This episode features Plus Tech. You may know Plus Tech from his phenomenal videos such as No Point in Rebellion or Air Madoka, or maybe from his incredible music. He created the soundtracks for Aliens Go Home Run as well as Skeleton Boomerang, the latter of which started a Y2PMV fad. I encourage all of you to go listen to his music on SoundCloud and support his future projects. Before we get started, I will quickly mention that MAGFest is starting soon from January 2nd to the 5th. I will be attending and hanging out with other YTP viewers, so if you want to meet up, hit me up on my Twitter, at Soraz. Thank you for tuning in, and enjoy the podcast. I'll kind of start off all of these podcasts with the same question. Uh, so how did you find out about YTP and and what are your origins behind it? Yeah, this question dates back dates back many years as as um as for the other guests you had um it's circa 20 2008 2009 when i first um actually saw any kind of thing that resembled a ytp ytp and came later like for most people probably because ytps were more popular back then um i cannot tell you exactly which one actually was the first ytp that i saw it's very hazy and I, I can't recall it really but um it, 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 I think it certainly was some kind of Mama Luigi YTP because you know <laughs> those were quite popular. Yeah. Uh, there's all, of course Hotel, Mar- Hotel, Hotel Mario was also there and the uh, and the Zelda ones. Pretty pretty natural starting point. Well, like I said, I cannot remember exactly which one. I kind of have a I have a fish memory. <laughs> 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 no, not the best memory. But um, when it comes to YTP and V though. Uh, when I started, things get a bit more certain. Um, today is, uh, yeah, it's December 2019. And this marks more or less my 10-year anniversary doing YTPMV. Holy shit. Yeah, the first one I uploaded, which I acknowledged officially as a YTPMV, <laughs> was, was 10 years ago and it was called Mask, Masked Konata. Um, and it was the worst piece of shit ever. <laughs> I uh, it took like one year or two years two years for me to like l- watch this video again. And I, I'm like, okay, I I I'm, I'm taking it down. Of course, <laughs> some of my friends, some people still do have this video and they love to tease me with it. <laughs> but it was a terrible starting point to be honest. It was like shitty pitch shifting. Like all their notes were wrong. It was off time. Uh... Of course, uh, of course, it, it was a masked DVD from Kirby Superstar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the best thing was, I uploaded, I made this video, I uploaded it, and then I noticed that someone else made the same video and it was better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my but, god. But I, yeah, but I didn't care at the time, you know, like, whatever, I made a video, it's a YTP and me. That's just like, <laughs> oh man, that would suck, especially being your first one ever and you're putting it out there, but, I mean, yeah, everybody's, already... everybody's got to start somewhere. Of course, yes, yes. Yeah. My next one wasn't any better, of course. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was some Team Fortress 2 using the, the demo man source. But, I mean, like, um, in the grand scheme of things, if you started in 2010, then a few years later, in 2013, I mean, you're pretty fucking good by that point. Uh, yeah, it actually took me, like, one year to, um, to make a video that today I can listen to, and I think it's pretty good. Um, I, I have my own uh, playlist where I keep all this stuff, all this old stuff, so I, because I like archiving it now, you yeah. know, I, I, em- I embraced it all. I remember having my emo phase in like 2012, 13, <laughs> where I was like, I'm going to delete all my videos because I hate YTPMV and I hate everything related to it and I hate my own videos <laughs> because, you know, people used to have those kind of phases, not only me. Yeah. Um, so I just removed them, like a little idiot I was. But thankfully, my good Polish friend, uh, Filipu is his name, nickname, um, he uh, kept backups of some of these, and that's why we can watch some of them today still. Of course, they're pretty lame. They're, they're like my first year of YTP and V, so um, they're not the best. Uh, but the history is there, and it can be viewed. Uh, it's plastic.top uh, slash YTP and V. It's, it, this, this is the quick link to that playlist. And it has pretty much everything that was salvaged, pretty much. Is there anything um, that's missing that you wish you still had? 
Yes, there are some things that are sadly missing that he didn't back up. Um, some of my, like, <laughs> some of the videos I used um, myself as a source. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, those were great. I mean, some of them are still there, but there were more. <laughs> yeah. Like, that was kind of narcissistic, to be honest. Yeah. I'm, there was a lot of people back then who used themselves as a source, though. But... I still want to go back for a moment, though, and um, talk about my first video on YouTube. Oh, go for it. Which, which I called a remix at the time, but it was kind of an old-school YTP in the sense that you would compare it to Big Beat Mario. Like, you know, I make my own backup, backing track, and then I sync shit to it. Yeah. But once again, it took me like two or three years to realize that this vid is shitty, and I took it down. Even though, like, it took one year for it to get 100k views, which... You know, back then, which kind of, it kind of was a big deal. Yeah. For a, for a stupid remix to get one one hundred k views in two thousand nine. Oh yeah. yeah. I uploaded it in two thousand eight, uh, like August. My first upload. It was called, of course, because I for some reason was a weeb. I was a weeb, and my anime of choice was Lucky Star. <laughs> don't 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 ask. I don't know. I had a weird obsession with that. The boring slice of my life anime that I would I would never watch today, but yeah, I just loved the fuck out of it, and I made Masconata, which I already said, and the first video, which finally was Timote Remix, and it was just basically a shitty backing track made in FL Studio, and then I like FL Studio six five, and then I took Vegas Pro seven or something and just layered a bunch of Timotes on it, no pitch shifting, no anything. And over the course of, of, of like a year, it, it got kind of fucking popular. <laughs> but it didn't stop me from removing the video because it was shit. Yeah. You know? But that officially could be named my first YTP MV. It was in 2008, but I didn't name it, named it as such yet. I, I, I thought it was more of a remix. Yeah. So, in 2000, 2008, there definitely weren't very many at all so that's probably part mm -hmm. of the reason is because you're like one of the few lucky star white pmvs back then uh i i personally think that i actually joined the the ytp train kind of late compared to the to the guys to the other guys that are like yeah. on way back like yeah. i joined in 2010 i remember being recognized by guys like milkshake man cp in 2010 that that that's kind of late by the old fag standards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call it. Like uh, all the guests you've interviewed so far, they're like twenty twenty seven, like two thousand seven, right? Two thousand six, even some of them. Yeah. Um, I I was I was a late joiner, and I think um that caused uh that that still has effect to this day, because um I don't really hang out with all these guys to be honest. Yeah. I, I never did. I still never do. I never just got on. Some of the, my other Polish friends did. Like, okay, Goomba is, you know who Goomba is, right? Who the fuck doesn't know yeah, who Goomba is? Yeah, exactly. He is awesome. He has fucking so many contacts, dude. He has, he has connections to everyone. I just, like, you know, I just stayed put. And, and, it kind of, and it kind of persisted even to this day. I still don't talk with some of these guys. Like, I was never in any max chats or anything like that. I've heard about them all the time, but I never like put myself into them yeah <clears throat> yeah that, i mean there weren't there's quite a few people like that who uh, constantly hear it but weren't i feel like me included but i i mean like nowadays 2019 there's so many people who have joined since then that they consider us old school and especially mm -hmm. you even more so than me um like yeah well time time changes perspective yeah that's, it's it's that's... weird it's weird for sure but I, I I said this already. Like I'm ten years on the internet, or like more, and I feel like a grandpa. Right? <laughs> you know? I'm an internet grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, those new memes are not helping. Yeah. You know, like all the shit you see on Twitter. I was like, oh, dude, I've seen like two minutes of what this ten second clip is today. Mm -hmm. We had like two minute long videos of what this like is for ten minutes. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. Crusty shit. <laughs> yeah, we're we're definitely the white PMV boomers for sure. Or you? We are you boomers. Are boomers. That's okay. <laughs> I'll I'll embrace that. So, um, you said one of your first videos was like you made a backing track in FL. Was that like one of your first like songs that you try to make, or did you fuck around with FL before and try to make something? 
I used to fuck around with FL since I was like seven years old. Oh damn. Yeah, music. I I was dabbling in music way before I had internet. Like one of my older brothers, like they they bring a disc home that says Fruity Loops free on it. <laughs> And like, holy shit, we're gonna, make, we're gonna make music on it, right? We made the shittiest things ever, but it was a starting point oh, for yeah. me mostly, for them too. Um, and yeah, that's, that, and I'm still using it posterior to this day. I, I, like, I just cannot, I cannot um, imagine switching to something else. So uh, I definitely, yes, I use Apple Studio or Fruity Loops before even attempting like PMVs at all. Mm-hmm. That's cool. So, like, through your music career, have, like, YTPMV and music kind of, like, coincided? Have they, like, benefited each other in any way? They've always did. You know, like, like one and the other, I always did them, you know, side by side. Like, one year I did more YTPMVs than music. One year I did more music than YTPMVs. I kind of intertwined them. I, I either, it, like, it was intentional sometimes, sometimes not. It just happened, you know? Mm-hmm. So do you do you like the community around uh like the music and chiptune scene quite a lot? The community around chiptune. Is there? Um, I don't even know much about it, honestly. I um I'd say the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like uh, like how I've explained them, I'm 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 a bit of a loner when it comes to ITPMV. I can say pretty much the same about music. Hmm. Um I do not um I do not really get into communities. I, I, uh, what are they? They have Discord servers now. Like, there's many Discord servers for them, right? Yeah. Right now, this is what's trendy now today to just make servers for everyone. Well, I'm not really in any. You know, I don't like to join them anyway. Mm-hmm. So, but but I can shit on the overall chiptune community. I can do that. Like yeah. all those LS, uh, LSDJ, uh, like glitch step wannabes that, that's that's pretty shitty i don't i don't, I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy that stuff uh, like like you know they're fake eight bits basically there, there was a you can make a whole debate about this of course i don't i don't hate fake bit that, that's cool i do fake bit all the time like my fm stuff is just it's all in fl studio it's never really you know you cannot just play that on hardware yeah it's impossible but it's like it's like someone makes beep boop music and they can call it chiptune right away. No, you have to do a little bit more than that. Mm-hmm. Like glitch step, it's like vomit. It's like <laughs> I don't, I don't, it's, it's music vomit. I don't really like it that much. Yeah, it's just random notes and you're thinking like making epic chiptune dubstep or something. You're gonna be next Skrillex or something. Not a fan. <clears throat> Not a fan of that. But I I embrace chiptune music. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty much. But I'm the, of course the biggest fan of FM music and. You know who caused that. You know who's the artist that, that that is my driving force. I can't remember his name off the top of your head, but I see you call but, talk about but it. But everyone but everyone knows, so <laughs> I don't even have to mention it. <laughs> so you did the uh OST for Skeleton Boomerang and Aliens Go Home Run, right? Um so how cool was it to work on a game soundtrack like that and have the reception that it got? Mm-hmm. So Aliens Go Home Run was first. And uh, it was basically the first soundtrack pitch I ever got from someone. Um, it was Old Death. That's the guy of the. Uh, uh, that's the guy who developed the game, and then we later formed a company in quotation marks. Well, it was a registered company, but let's not get into that. Uh, <laughs> it was called Adam Ace, right? Yeah. And we formed this little company. It was only three people at first. Um, I was making the music. All Death was making. Uh, the game, he was programming the game, designing some of the stuff. I also was helping. And then there was Artisano, which I roll with to this day. He made the graphics, I also helped with design. And um, um, and we crashed sometime after. I, I'm not going to get into specifics, but, but again, just like bad team management. Never really, nothing really came out of this company. But uh, yeah, that was the first ever, like, my, my soundtrack, this soundtrack was the first ever that actually, like, you know, got on Steam. I, a game got on Steam with my soundtrack on it. I, I thought at the time it was, like, a big accomplishment. Oh, yes. yeah. Finally, my soundtrack is in a game that's on Steam. Even though 
uh, it, it was green light back then. So it was not as easy to get games on Steam as it is today because you just pay 100 bucks to Valve and there you go, please put my <laughs> game on Steam. Um, it was a bit, you know, more hard. You had to actually tell people that, that you want to get on Steam and get some votes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was a bit harder and I think it was a, it was a bit of a bigger accomplishment than getting Skeleton yeah, Boomerang on Steam, which as I mentioned already, we just gave 100 bucks to Valve, and there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Game on Steam. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, uh, Aliens Go Home Run. Um, I I don't... I, I'm gonna say it right now, right here. I'm not very proud of that game. Mm. You know, I'm not really very proud that it was actually the first game that I made music for, and what, what came out of it. It's broken as, as of now. Uh, like, if you boot it up on Steam and you play it for a bit, there's like a bonus stage sometimes that can happen when you're playing, and and it's just absolutely glitchy. It was added without any of our consent. The the de- the developer just like added it because it was bored or something, and it's literally just a broken game on Steam right now. <laughs> so I'm I'm not really a fan of that. Yeah, <laughs> not I, really. I mean I can understand that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just want like if you were wondering why our company, you know, disbanded. Well, there's a there's one of one of things to consider, <laughs> like a ra- random update that breaks the game and no one even knew about it, stuff like that. Yeah. So me and Artisano hold ass. We we still we still um we still publish Skeleton Boomerang soon after, in animes. However, um. The, the company director, he was also the company director of Old Dev. He didn't really help much with that, you know, it was like just overseeing some stuff. It was still ours, fully ours. I mean, fully Artisanos, it's his IP. I just like, you know, I just came on board. I'm going to do music music for you. And then I kind of liked his game a bit too much. And I'm basically like a co-developer right now because I really like the game, actually. Like, I played... A lot of it, and I decided, okay, I'm gonna help you m- way more with this game, yeah. because I like it a lot. And so we jumped ship. We went to another company, Right Stick Studios, which also kind of died, but not really. I again, not worth the not worth the time here. Yeah. We were just really unfortunate with companies, to be honest. Yeah. We jumped from one to another, and um, basically we were sold on it. We like we got a we got a couple friends to help. We already paid them, and we will pay them later. Uh, because yeah, we had a bad history of not getting paid as well. That's that's always the fun, and even in the little companies. Um, so we are solo now, and I think that is working out the best so far for us. And we are still developing an update for it. Oh, cool. And uh, yeah, yeah, we have a Twitter handle. It's just Skeleton Boomerang. I'm pretty sure or it's like Skelly Boomerang. Yeah, it's Skelly Boomerang at Skelly Boomerang. We're posting some. Some screenshots, some videos of the update, and of course, it's a it's an update with a full new mode, and you know what that means? That means new music. Heck um, yeah! Which which uh, probably is not going to be as memed as this Disco Necropolis got <laughs> memed, which I bet you wanted to ask about that. Yeah, <laughs> I was I was gonna ask about that. Did you did you like how much it got memed? Well, short answer, yes. I, I like how it all turned out. The long answer is that um, many years back, I saw I saw uh, the guy, um, you know, the one who made Eight Bit Dreams. That 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 song. I don't remember the full name because I have fish memory again. Um, <laughs> who made it again and uh, and what the full name was? But it left. It was like Eight Bit Dreams. It was a you know, it was a module track. It was a Kagan song, of course. Mm-hmm. Um. And I remember the, the author of that that song. He wasn't very really happy that people were actually using it in YTPMVs. Like he was complaining about that. And I and, and, and ever since then I wondered if people use my music, would I be that pissed off? You know, like I would never think uh, years later one of my songs would actually be used massively in in YTPMVs as a fad. I say as a fad because, you know, I like using the word fad when it comes to YTP and Vs. Yeah. Not memes, it's the old word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a much better word. Yeah, and it turns out years later, I actually do not mind, to be honest. Yeah. And and to also be honest on, on, on why the song got popular to use, 
I kind of pushed one of my friends into YTPMVing it in the first place. It was, <laughs> was Zetoban. He did the first YTPMV of this of this song. It was the Smash Mouth. Oh. Where he used Smash Mouth as force. Yeah, that was that was the first one, and I think that really pushed the other ones forward. Yeah. Uh, it was. Um, it was called Star the Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember seeing that one. I didn't. I didn't realize it was the first though. Yeah, it was the first one, and I pushed them like, you know, you wanna, you wanna make a white to PMV or one of my skeleton boomerang songs? Yeah, I wanna do Disco Necropolis. Okay, then go ahead. And yeah. I didn't, I didn't know what I was signing up for at the time. Yeah. <laughs> and it kind of blew up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super fine. Uh, there's some people that tell me they wanna do other songs, which of course go for it. You know, like this one's kind of a dead horse by now. So try some other songs. Why not? Mm-hmm. I mean, like, even if there are, like, X amount of bad, quote-unquote, white PMVs of it, I mean, the fact that there were, like, quite a few good ones, especially Zarlable's one, like, holy shit. Yeah, that shit. one is great. That one is awesome. Like, it's one of his best vids and his my music in it. That's yeah. kind of bizarre. Yeah, <clears throat> it's really cool. Yeah, I was watching it for the first time. Really impressive. When, when you make a video, like, what, what's kind of your process behind it? Obviously, like you can't just like drag a song and drag in a source and then kind of do it as you go with the scope of your videos, right? Mm, when it comes to source and music pick, the source is um, it has always been things that I've recently enjoyed. Mm. You know, it's it's not usually usually I say usually because it's not always that the stuff that I enjoy. Like one time, my one single time in 2011, I used um, Octagon. And I never used it since, and there's a good reason for that. I'm not a fan of that source. I never used ponies. There's a simple reason for that. I, I'm not a particular fan. Even when it was at the at the peak of popularity, I never used that. Mm. Um, it's just using what I um, I enjoy watching, what I watched uh, soon before making the YTPMV. Like for example, you can see that trend in my newest videos. Um, like some people, some people were just joking. Like, why, why did you YTPMV Rick and Morty? Why did you YTPMV Pickle Rick? <laughs> well, it happens that I do not hate the show. Is that how? Is it a hard? Is it a hard to comprehend? I like the show. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, that's why YTPMV. It's, it's a cool, creative show. I hate when it goes like fucking nihilistic and it tries to be edgy. That, that shit's stupid. I, I try to ignore that part. <laughs> when, it get, when it gets creative, that's cool. You remember the, uh, if you watched it, did you watch it? Did you watch it? The season three. Did you watch the season three one? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. Remember, remember, have you watched episode nine in particular? Well, uh, you'll have to remind me what episode nine it's this, it's It's the one where, where Beth goes back to this dream world of hers that Rick created for her. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, and there's there's that shitty fucking moment in it, where 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 like Beth asks Rick, "Am I evil?" and Rick and and Rick replies, "No, you're smart." And I'm like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> stupid! <laughs> I'm gonna off myself." It was so yeah. fucking pretentious, nihilistic, like fucking edgy, and like, "Yeah, you're smart. You're not evil. You don't you you know that nothing matters." Fuck off. Yeah, that that shit's not... Uh, yeah. That's, that's stuff I hate about the show. But, again, I like it for its creativity. I used it as a source. I used Sam Hyde as a source, of course. I'm a fan. I used Mega64 as a source recently, also a fan. It, you know, you can see the pattern, right? Mm -hmm. um, as for music picks, well, you know who, for most of the time. <laughs> um... But it's generally just songs I really enjoy also on a personal level that have affected me. A lot of Yasui's songs have, you know, they have affected me on a personal level. It's why I, I think that's why I'm here where I, where I am, thanks to his one particular song, it's Super Reflect. Oh, I discovered yeah. that song, I discovered that song in 2014. When I first heard it, it fucking blew my mind. It's, it's an amazing composition. It's like the best song for me ever, and, and, it, and it inspired me to do so much since then, and it still inspires me. It's an awesome song. Um, if I didn't hear that song, if I didn't listen to it, then I don't think I would be here today. So, I also have to thank Jan uh, for introducing this song to me. He's Memo Wave, his music alias, but 
it is Jan when it comes to YTP and V. Mm -hmm. Where is Jan from? He's from Brazil, right? Uh, no, he's from Spain. Oh, he's oh okay. Yeah, he, he's he's Spain. I didn't know that. So does he? Do, uh, you'll have to remind me of his name. Uh, but does he like inspire you for both YTP and V and music, or just more so music for you? <laughs> Well, Yasui doesn't make white PMV, so there's not much he can inspire me about from there. Yeah. Um, he strictly he strictly inspires me when it comes to music. I get uh, his sound design is superb. I haven't heard someone do FM music this legit, this crispy, this catchy, this this, this perfect sounding than him. Even the people he looked up to, he looked up to uh, like uh uh. Why did why why did the name why did the name escape? <laughs> uh, he looked up to he looked up to his senpais at Super Sweep. There we go. That's better. He he used to be in Super Sweep, and um, I I don't think he's anymore, if I recall this correctly. But yeah, he looked up to those. That's where he that's where he picked up his music style, kind of by looking up to his senpais. And I think he is better than them. He is the best, and he is my senpai official. But he doesn't know. <laughs> Only in my head, I am. He's he's like a senpai to me. He's like a teacher to me. Even though he he doesn't even talk with me. It's kind of an obsession, to be honest. But you know. <laughs> I mean, it, as if if you draw that much inspiration from him, then I do. I I the disco I mean, disco necropolis. Yeah, that song. Not the, not 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 only that song. The entire Skeleton Boomerang soundtrack. I mean, you can hear like the little guitar he likes to use along with the basses of his songs. I I ripped that. I I ripped that straight off his song, and I keep using it everywhere. You know, um, mm. I, I it drives me so much. I even recreate his own songs. Like you know, I try to get his sound design to the point. It's a bit yeah. It's a, it's an obsession at this point, but. You know, there's it's it's a good thing to obsess over because he is amazing at what he does. So, yeah, yeah. I ain't I ain't stopping anytime soon. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, what else do you have planned for the future then? If uh, like music wise, if you can say anything. Obviously, you said Skeleton Boomerang update coming soon with more music. But is there anything yeah, else that's, you could say? Um, when it comes to Skeleton Boomerang, uh. Yeah, it's more of an internal thing, you know, like mm -hmm. me and Artisano, I'm, I'm calling this project internal because it's personal to me. So this is the first internal personal project is the, is the entire update to Skeleton Boomerang and the new soundtrack for it. Yeah. Um, and we have another thing coming, which I've actually, um, we've kind of revealed in the past. It's called Homeworld Run. Homeworld mm -hmm. Run, yes. I, I uploaded a single song of it on SoundCloud a while ago. It got some YouTuber featured it. That's why it's one of my top tracks as well. Because some YouTubers like to feature my music. That's pretty cool. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, it's going to be um, like a size scroll beat em up It's going to be a spin-off of Aliens to Home Run. Like, it's not going to be the same genre. And the uh, old developer is not going to be developing it now. It's just going to be us. The IP owners are gonna be making a new game set in the aliens universe. We have this, we have the skeleton universe, we, we and we have the aliens universe. <laughs> and the, the next, the next game is gonna be um, aliens universe is gonna be 2.5D. Like it's, it, we we wanted 3D environments, but I don't think we have the budget for that. So we're just gonna be, you know, we're just gonna be doing 2D sprites. But there's there's it's gonna be parallax like. You know, complicated parallax to make it look 3D like, but it's gonna be oh, yeah. Think, think of the new Shantae, the the yeah. one, the new one they're making, they're teasing. It's gonna be, it's gonna be looking similar to that. I we hope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the music for and the music for that is gonna be a bit too much like Vert's music. That's the main inspiration for for the music for that <laughs> one. It's like, it's like Shantae music and Mighty Switchforce music. That's the main inspiration for the music behind that game. So yeah, that is our future project. We are currently still working um, on the Skeleton Boomerang update. And when it comes to other songs of mine, other soundtracks, well, I have a Trello um, where I list the stuff that I have yet to do. And uh, sadly, I have like 10 soundtracks on hold because, you know, like people disappear, people run out of money, or they have some other reasons for putting their development on their games. 
on on the, some sort of hi hiatus stuff like that. I have like ten yeah. of these. It's the, yeah. I have a lot of soundtracks that I already made a bunch of music for, and they're just frozen in just limbo. There. And I, yeah. yeah, and they and the tracks are supposed to stay private. You know, they never get out. I have to keep them to myself. I cannot show show them off. Some of them are great, and I and it kind of pains me that I have to, you know, hold so many of them to myself. But yeah, there's there is there is stuff to there is stuff to work on. Don't you worry on that. There will be more stuff, more soundtracks, for sure. Well, that's exciting, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to hear them. I I always love listening to all the soundtracks you put out. Oh, but, thank uh, you very much. Yeah. So being a part of the Polish White's P community, uh, it's always fascinated me with some of you guys' inside jokes. Um, with chat like you guys have the channel uh i don't know how to pronounce it Fumiki. okay it's fine filmiki xd that's how you would say it literally <laughs> um well it's cool videos X xd which an, an actual channel like that exists I, I i believe i believe sig makes videos for the for this channel as well um mm. Yeah, just like you know, inspired by us. I I didn't realize we're such a big like inspiration for for some of these. Yeah, um, this territory is kind of not uh, honestly. It's not really my territory to be honest. Like, mm. uh, if you if you want like excessive amount of history about some of these sources that we use, you you'd better go ask Kumba because. He made like ninety percent of the videos that are on this channel. <laughs> yeah, he is a monster at making these videos, and he always each one of his is always funny. He, he uh, like he says some of his videos are shit. No, I think each one of his videos are a fucking comedic marvel. He's amazing at making those. It just comes natural to him. Meanwhile, I yeah. just have to. Meanwhile, I have to be incredibly inspired to make some kind of funny video for that channel. Uh, I so I'm I usually just end up doing more of the melodical kind of videos, the, mm -hmm. like the ones that resemble YTP and V's actually rather than YTP's. Um, as for the Polish YouTube poop community, uh, it doesn't really exist anymore. Like uh. it's 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 best days are are over, far over. Uh, its best days were in like 2009, 10, 11. It pretty much died in. 2012 i joined um i joined ytp and v uh first through for the polish ytp community yeah um, and to, like early 2010 when i was you know making more shitty videos um i i, I searched up a polish forum we, we um we had a big polish forum where people shared the ytps and sometimes ytp and v's the ytp and v's in poland were not really at all popular and within that commun community, there were like two free sometimes made by the guys that also made YTPs, poorly pitched. It was pretty much low level, right? And I improved steadily. I remember improving steadily back then, like 2010. That was the year of the big improvement. And I remember people just like, holy shit, who is this new guy that, that is making better and better videos? <laughs> You know, they would, um, one, of, one of the best videos they have proclaimed as one of my best videos at the time, I remember that, was rock um i rock my emotions uh, ytp and v using nostalgia crit like uh -huh. rock nos rock nostalgia's emotions it's it's in that playlist warning shit it's crap most of my <laughs> most of my stuff from 2010 sucks today but then it was like holy shit how many how many instruments is that at once where everything is pitched wow this is amazing there's even some percussion and stuff and I remember, I remember they were giving out like uh, little medals uh, monthly on that forum for for best YTPs and YTP MVs, and they gave me one for that YTP MV, and I was like, oh, that's awesome! I got a little medal for making a, sh a shitty YTP MV. Yeah, I'm gonna make more. <laughs> I'm gonna make more. So, <laughs> really, the driving force in for 2010, 2011 was that forum where I shared it, and people liked it a lot. And that's so cool, uh, actually. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> those were the early years. Yeah, when the commun yeah. community was still kind of big, it was like um, a, a forum consisting of like 200, 300 people, if I remember correctly. God. That was a lot of that was a lot of people. Oh but, yeah, you know, yeah. 
people people get older, stuff happens. Mm-hmm. Forum just closes one day, you know. Yeah. You, things things usually just die. But yeah. thankfully, we had one guy who I already mentioned before, uh, Firipu. Uh, one day he creates a Skype group where he adds like his best friends from from the forum. There was like eight of us or something. Like, um, the, I can recall, of course, Goomba was there. Um, I was there, Firipu. Um, Milos, Chip Jockey, you, you recall him? Yeah, he's, he's around still. He's making music, though, now. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, and there's... Um, uh, his name is, is, is very hard to comprehend in English, but um, yeah, Karmelova Buka, he's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he used to like in 2011, 12. He used to make those source videos where he didn't show his face. Mm. I don't. It was it was pretty cryptic. So, some people used them. I remember some people using them even internationally. Uh, yeah, he was that guy. Um, very cryptic stuff. Very like no one, no nobody even knows anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah, they they they're still a bit secluded into the Polish side of things. They have they have like Polish stuff to do. Um, me and Goomba, though, pretty much, you know, we, we are the kind of guys that branch out more to the international side, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we, we all, I feel like we always kind of did. Like, uh, when, when, the, when the Polish YTP community was over, it was my mission to reach out to the international one, you know, like, post, post more in English, post to the guys, show to the guys in the YTP community at the time that mattered. Like, when I made a Satellite Ronald video, like, it was, um, I was using Ronald McDonald coupled with Satellite 1, I believe, Mm -hmm. Um, and I saw a comment from Milkshake Man CP himself, like, he was like, cool video, I really like it, like, holy shit, thanks, dude, you know, I I, I always really liked little comments back then. Today, they don't have really much meaning to me, like, I'm pretty, like, um... Compliments don't really matter much to me today. That's that's kind of sad. But back then yeah. I was getting excited. Back then I was getting excited over every compliment I could get. That was a driving <laughs> force back then. I remember. Yeah. Um, okay. So about this group of friends uh, that that Free performed, uh, Free Repo, uh, formed. This group of friends he created a Skype group 2010, and to this day we still hang together. Oh and wow! And to that's this cool. day, to this day. The, the Find the Filmiki crew, it's, it's just, just basically us from 2010. This is a group we formed. Like, we really hit it off, you know, and to this day we still talk around, hang around, do stuff, sometimes videos. Of course, it's current year, everyone is like plus 20 right now, so everyone has their own things to do, jobs, stuff. There's not much time to do these anymore, right? As, as, as yeah. things with life, that's how life goes. Yeah. But that's the origin of us, basically. We branched out. From YTP community, Polish YTP community, when it was dying, pretty much, and we just stick around, you know, in our own servers or groups. You know, we started with Skype group, then we moved to Discord when, get, when it got popular. Yeah. Um, as for the inside jokes, oh man, there's so many. Yeah, all, I can't believe how born. many there are. It was just, you know, one day. You just go on YouTube, you just search up a word, and you, and you filter by newest. And you just find shit. You, sometimes it's just comedy gold. Sometimes it's just stupid popular shit on, on, Pol- on Polish YouTube. Like, I remember uh, 2013, the Weekend song. Oh. It blew up. It blew up in Poland big time. It was like the hit of the summer. It, it was the summer hit at the time. And of course, we thought the, the, the song was rather comedic, and his, this dude's <laughs> face, it was fucking stupid. He was like making weird dance moves, and his, his facial expressions were gold. So we're like, okay, let's just make stupid videos of him for a, for a while. And um, yeah, we first made some stupid videos on, on Find the Um, You know, your regular stuff, mashing him up with, with uh, Link's Awakening music, for example, or shit like that. Yeah. And then I decided to make Garten. You know, the, the main vid on my channel. And this is where people think that I, popu- that I popularized it. You know, like, yeah, he made the first video. He made, he made the fad. 
No, that isn't Goomba. He found the video. He 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 posted that weekend video on 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 the on this uh, on the Skype chat. A lot of a lot of these videos will be like that, where people will think that I started them, you know. But it was actually Goomba all along. He's the OG. He always did. I just you know I just made a video and sometimes and somehow for some reason people just followed. That's, that's, I always had that, by the way. Like, whenever I made something, there, were, there sure were a lot of people making the same thing, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, I agree. It was always that. Whether, whether it was a source or whether it was music, a lot of people just followed me with that. You know, they just. I, I, at the time, I was saying rip off <laughs> because <laughs> in, in 2014, 15, I was kind of a fucking dick. I was big dick, okay? I was, <laughs> I was a big dick, and I thought I had a big dick, so you don't talk to me like I'm peasant. I'm the big shot here, and you ripped me off. Stop doing that. Some shitty, you know, el- elitist. I was basically an elitist, and I fucking hate elitists today. Like, no. Stop yeah. being so stuck up. Open up. Be a bit more friendly to others. Yeah. I realize, I realize that. Yeah. Everybody, everybody goes through those phases on the internet at one point or another dude i went through so many phases it was an emo <laughs> phase where I, when i decided to just remove videos then it was the big shot phase and i'm finally here the embracing phase but i'm like okay the... ytp and v is actually important in my life you know yeah. it actually did something yeah i'm gonna embrace it i'm gonna i'm not gonna be a dick about it I think I think a lot of people are getting to that stage uh, now. Now that they're getting older, they're like you said, they're getting in their twenties or something. Some of them even uh, some of the oldest, even like late twenties, like they're kind of realizing how important it actually was. Obviously, the other people have just left and packed their bags, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, usually, yeah. Some of them just get bored of it because, well, to be honest, it's kind of a kind of a kind of a thing that repeats itself a lot. You know, there, there's one very strict formula which is kind of hard to break away from. When people do break away, it's pretty cool. I was gonna ask, how many channels does Goomba have? Cause oh my god, that I... is a good question. Because <laughs> I I'm planning on having him here on the podcast later, but I was just wondering, like, oh my god, there there seems to be a never ending. I think when you ask him that question, I think he himself will have a hard time recalling. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's so many. One of one of my favorite channels of his, though, is the one where he has, like, Family Guy funny moments oh, and it's yeah. a and switch video. It's, it's like, just a guy eating KFC, KFC dancing to music. Uh, it was like uh, Twilight <laughs> Fan 9. Yeah, five. Twilight Fan. Yes, yeah. it was Twilight Fan. <laughs> yeah. He has so many fucking channels. Like... He is the one dude that does not want to, that does not want any of his channels to really, you know, go off too much. Yeah. I get, I get kind of inspired by that, you know, like not wanting to blow up that much. Yeah. I kind of don't want that as well. I don't want to be too known. There's, mm. there's like, there's like personal reasons for it, and there's the, the then there's the legal, you know, reasons for it that yeah. I do not want to blow up and get noticed by someone who shouldn't notice me. You know, like my music, it sometimes doesn't get very legal. But, you know, I'm not going to discuss that here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was going to ask, so all of you guys are from Poland, obviously. And Poland, I don't know how, I mean, I'm from America, so it's hard for me to gauge how big it is. But do you guys ever, like, meet up uh, in real life and, like, hang out? Or is it just pretty much strictly online? Okay, so as a one big group, we never actually met up. Mm. As a one big group, we uh, we just never did. I suppose we were too busy, or when we were younger, we were too young, basically, to yeah. just go and travel aboard the entire country to meet one another. Um, but we did meet, like you know, few of us somewhere there, here and there. Like I met with Milos, Chief Jockey, and and Bolka. Mm-hmm. Those were I met with them. It was a cool time. Goomba met with the other guys sometimes as well. Goomba met with Ripu multiple times. They actually live like 40 minutes from each other, so they oh, can just cool. do that. At, they can just do that at any time, I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we never really met up. I, I've only, like I said, I only met up two of these guys. It's kind of hard nowadays, anyway. I did meet up 
not not from not from my Polish uh, um, not from my Polish uh, circle of friends. I did meet up with Omni though. Oh, I, uh, yeah. He posted one photo of it. I remember on Twitter. How long ago was that? That was two years ago, roughly. Yeah, oh, it was cool. two years ago. More than two years ago, I think. Like, yeah. Uh, he was there to, of course, make photos because you, you already know you already had podcast with him, so he explained that he makes photos, mm-hmm. for, for photography for the military. So he was there for that exact purpose as well. Um, he told me, of course, beforehand, like, "Hey, I, I, I'll be in Poland. Yeah, okay. Where, I'll, where, where will you be? In Krakow. Holy shit, I live there. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, of course, we met up. Um, we went to McDonald's for fries." We talked some about rather similar topics, uh, rather similar topics, the same ones pretty much like here, because mm-hmm. you know I, I don't I don't really talk with him again, like I said in the beginning, I do not actually keep in touch with all the all the old fact guys, <laughs> with all the classics. Yeah. Really, I just don't really keep up with them. Like Salable, I don't talk with him. You know, Omni, I don't talk with him. Yeah. Basically, everyone who went to see I don't talk. With them. Yeah. <laughs> It just kind of uh, happened that way. Mm-hmm. So your your channel got hacked here recently by some Vietnamese fuckboy. Uh, how does that affect your motivation, like working on videos and everything? That is that was a very correct term for that guy. <laughs> I, I, um, I stole that from you, if I remember. Yeah, he he is a Vietnamese fuckboy. He looks like one. <laughs> um. Well, to go into specifics, my my password was shitty. It was like six letters long. The MD5 hash for it was cracked. So everyone who just who just had access to a d- database of leaked passwords just could have taken a password, put it into a MD5 dehasher and have it done in like five seconds. Mm. It was a shitty password and it was already dehashed. It was like, you know, you can you can look up MD5 like dehashes of stuff on the net. There are websites for that. If you put the MD5 hash for that password, it will find it. So it was the hash. Okay, some some Vietnamese fuckboy, yes, some Vietnamese fuckboy, um, just found it. But okay, well he has a YouTube channel. Let's just fucking take it. Um, he took it, and then, and for one month, it it was his name, right? It it was changed to uh, what was it again? It was. Changed to I'm looking it up right now. Uh, it was Nguyen Lam Gok or whatever, or, or however you fucking pronounce Vietnamese names. <laughs> Nguyen is such a fucking typical Vietnamese name. Like seventy percent of Vietnamese people have this name. Yeah. Anyway, it just took it like for a month. I was named this. People in the comments, some of them were like wondering why they're named like that. I couldn't respond under the under the under the alt, but I was saying I got hacked. I'm I'm gonna download these videos since they're not private yet, or like delete it. He kept them for a month for some reason, and then of course he privated all the videos, not removed, privated, um, and put up his stupid fuckboy face. Just sits there and and, and like does nothing. What the yeah. fuck are these videos? What was the point of it? <laughs> then, and then then he bought some likes because how else would he get likes? He, he bought some likes. Then he bought some subscribers to get back to 1K again after dropping. He's below 1K again as as of <laughs> right now, which I'm very happy. Fuck you, guy. Whoever you are, fuck you. Um, and I'm I'm just thinking right now. It was four months ago, and I'm thinking, what was the fucking point of that? They're, they're, like, like, those videos are actually <laughs> worthless. Like, there's no, there's no point of it. Like, dude, you already took my account. Um, there was, like, if you, if you remove them all and put out even one video that isn't something that people would expect, you would lose those 1K subscribers you were ahead starting your, um, quote-unquote, YouTube career or something. Like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe the prospect of, like, of, like, starting out with 1K subscribers is enough to screw over someone. Certainly a Vietnamese fuckboy. Yeah. But, like... Well, anyway, <clears throat> it still happened. I had I, I got all the videos before the inevitable happened. So I'm glad I did that. And I just thought, hey, you, you, music for YouTube sucks anyway. So I'm just going to re-upload this to my main account. You know, like where the YTPNV, where me YTPNV started. I'm just going to re-upload them there. You know, uh... 
let people enjoy it, more people because some of them probably haven't seen those because with my alt I had like four times less subscribers on that um, and that kind of sparked in me you know like maybe I can do it more maybe I can make a YTP MV someday because you know the last one I made was in 2018 and we will be approaching 2020 yeah so maybe I'll finally make something I'm not sure what oh I know what I'll make but that depends entirely on the, on Shaft, on the animation studio Shaft. You know, the guys who made Madoka. Oh. It entirely depends on them <laughs> if I'm going to make a new YTP MV. <laughs> like, since 2014, 15, yeah, since I made No Point Rebellion, I, I had this vow that if they make another movie or another season, I will make a YTP MV of it. I'm waiting on you guys. You're not listening. You don't fucking care who I am, but I'm waiting. <laughs> if, if you if you finally make a new season, a new movie, I'm gonna I'm gonna be there to watch the PMV it because I made a personal vow to do it. I have so, they have they released any news about that or anything? Uh they had a teaser movie that was like it was in one anime con and it was not supposed to be released, but someone recorded a video of poor, very poor quality, but they did. It was just like, you know, a, a two, two, three minute OVA, nothing really special. Mm. But I think they are making something. They're, they're making like a side story right now. Yeah, they're making a side story, I think. Well, fuck. I hope they do. That'd be cool. Or was it? Mm. Well, they, 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 they were hinting at something anyway. Yeah. Really, it's, it's been years. It, it's super popular. I'm like It's weird to me that they didn't bank on it immediately and just crapped out another season of movie because it was so popular yeah but they didn't they're 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 they're, they're taking their sweet time and so will i then <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's one my tp that, that will come for sure and it's not depending on me yeah yeah as for as for 2020 yeah i feel a certain obligation to make at least one bit you know because uh i'm not i'm not afraid of ytp anymore i was like i had this point i remember in 2015 i was making uh, I was making a K on video. Uh, uh, I was making the um, one second, one second, one second. Jan uploaded it. It was Mecha K Onion, <laughs> Mecha <laughs> Canyon. Basically, the BMG was named Mecha Canyon. I just, you know, placed K on it. Yeah. So I was just making this video, like at the beginning of 2015. I'm just making it, making it. I'm, I'm certainly not enjoying making it. And like, I, I I don't know why, but like, while I was halfway through it, I had this weird breakdown in my head that I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't like YTPMVs. I don't want to make YTPMVs. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I render the video and I delete the project. <laughs> That's the reason, right? <laughs> and then the the next the next day the the the, the next day later, um, I kind of regret the sudden decision. To, to just to just trash this YTP MV. So I'm like, okay, well, I, ma I made a decision. I want to make more music because, you know, I, my music was kind of getting finally some recognition that I wanted it to get Yeah. at, at, at the time of 2015. YTP MV was starting to get boring for me after the intense year that was 2014. You know, most of people actually probably know me because of the YTP MVs that I made in 2014. Yeah. It was a busy year. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, it's a shame that I'm trashing this, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna like, uh, it was halfway through the song, and the second half of the song is just a repeat, but there's an extra lead. So I'm gonna make a shitty lead on top of it, I'm gonna go to Jen and tell him, hey, can you upload this video for me? Like, say you made it, you know, and um, yeah, it was, it was uploaded, it's, it says Peel Rusic video finish, I, I believe it didn't say that at first, I think he changed that. Uh, it's this video, um, yeah, 2015. So yeah, um, it, I had this weird, just kind of breakdown. Like, no, I hate it. I'm gonna send this video to you. You're gonna upload it like it's yours. I don't care what you have to say. Just, just pretend it's yours. <laughs> I just, I just did that. I just pretend it's your, it's just, it's just yours. And then I went on to make more music, pretty much, until um, I came back in 2016 to make YTP and Vs, but on my alt. Uh, you know, like I made, yeah. I made quick, I made quick videos on alt. I didn't really put much effort into them. 
Yeah. And as years gone by since then, I kind of grew to the idea of being a guy that does one thing and the other mm-hmm. at the same time. You know, like mm-hmm. I'm gonna sometimes do some music. I'm gonna arrange a song, but one day I'm feeling like a, I'm feeling like arranging it in YTPMV style. Yeah. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a source I like, and the music I I I decided to cover and just do it. You know, yeah. Because I like it, I, I embraced it. That's the point I'm still at. I don't know what comes after this. Is it hatreds again, or do I just <laughs> ac- do, do I just accept it forever? Finally, it's just one big loop. I don't know. That that is interesting. <laughs> yeah, I not even not even too long ago, I was I was calling uh, being in in the YTPV community a curse. Mm. Now, why did I call that? Because even though I did not want to make YTPNVs, I still found myself making those. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was when I was making those as uh, th- those uh, videos uh, for the alt account. Now they're uploaded on my main. That's when I was thinking that you know I'm o- I'm only making these videos because it's a curse. I I would rather do music. I would rather arrange music than do this shit. <laughs> That's what I explained to myself. No, no, that that was that was a lie. That was a personal lie. I I guess I just really like making those still. And I hope to make one because um, even though I'm not making them right now because there, ha- there has not been a, a video of, of mine for a long time now, almost two years will be soon, um, I just kind of don't have time for it. Yeah. You know, like, you can, again, you can, I have my public Trello where you can see that I kind of have a lot of fucking music to do. <laughs> and yeah. and to be is a bit of a last thing that I'm going to think about at the current moment yeah yeah yeah, and <laughs> and that's that's to be expected when uh you have like a music career actually sort of take off honestly yeah, it kind of took off yeah um you've talked about others how um like the pmv helped them get a job oh yeah yeah well it didn't really help me get a job but it it, it sure did help when it comes to music of course mm-hmm. you know when a- a- arranging stuff the the kind of the kind of experience I got listening to music, um, picking up the individual notes and chords and everything, that is invaluable, and I got all that from doing YTPV over the years. Yeah, yeah. That is, I'm very glad I I got that skill from doing weird fucking obscure videos back back then. I I, ne- I would never expect it to be such a return to me later on. Mm-hmm. Being able to hear and know exactly like what you're listening to and being able to pick out certain notes mm-hmm. it, it really to developed me developed me musically I think. yeah that that so, is cool uh, i, yeah, I, guess I do not re- i do not regret those years of ytpmv after all only recently i've realized how much of a help that was actually in what i do today which is arranging music as well because um the the songs i arrange the, the my my soundcloud uploads which are arranges well, they're more popular, let's face it. They're just way more popular than, than, my, than my original music. So I'm glad to have that kind of skill that I helped develop making weird fucking videos with screen flipping like windows <laughs> yeah. of weird people dancing around. That's, that's, how, that's how my uh, friends and even family members um, perceive those videos as just people <laughs> dancing around to some weird music. And they're not wrong. That's yeah. that's kind of what it is. Just yeah, people much. dancing around with some weird music in the background. <laughs> that's why it's PMV to them. Have you done any? Obviously, you've done like uh, plenty of audio work, but have you done v- much video work outside of YTPMV? Hmm. Nothing notable. Yeah. Like I said, I I, I contributed to Final Fantasy Mickey X then. Of course, I made some YTPNVs for it. I made some YTPs for it. Uh, we can call them that. I, I call them that because it's, it's it's kind of a technical term. But we will never call these like YTP stuff. They're like they're filmikis. They're movies. They're, they're yeah. cool videos. That's what they are. <laughs> they're videos. They're cool videos. This is not YTPs. Um, I contributed to THX Nightcore as well. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Like one video. <laughs> like I haven't. I, I I I know I have these video editing skills. I also acquired those, but I never actually put them to any use outside of actually YTP and YTP and V. Um, yeah. One of my Polish friends did. They they got a job at a TV station. Oh, that's they're, cool. There is very cool for them. They finally have a stable job and they love doing it. 
and it was all thanks to YTP. He got the job from YTP. He 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 is one of the boys who did it. That is really um, cool, actually. I love yeah. hearing that stuff. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I only got some skills from it and some connections, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we're at the hour mark. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. So, uh, is there anything else you want to plug? Obviously, uh, your SoundCloud and stuff and your music. Um, I'm going to plug my website, Plastic dot top not plastic dot com com that that was already taken by a co <laughs> company that makes printers and shit and true story on facebook some random guy messaged me about printer replacements and and scanners because they <laughs> thought i was the company thank th thank you dude <clears throat> so yeah plastic dot top every other every each of my albums are there links to the other stuff is also on that website so i don't have to plug everything uh, separately thank you for listening to episode three of the ytpv podcast and thank you to plus tech for being on if you're in the ytp or ytpv community and want to come on hit me up on twitter at soraz and we can get something set up be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes and hopefully i will see you guys at magfest thanks